Hope you like this video with me right. and mommy again. Okay. Friday. I'm here again with Hannah. Shiloh is sleeping, so we're just gonna have some fun today. Today we are doing a hands-on history um, project, and this is our book that we're gonna be working out of. So I'm gonna be reading to Hannah what we are gonna make today, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So right now we are learning about homes around the world, so we're going to make a miniature yurt. People build homes with different styles around the world. They often use materials that are readily available. You might live in a house with several bedrooms or in an apartment with a cozy living room. Some people live on boats or in caves or in mansions or in a one room tiny house. Many Central Asian nomadic people choose to live in yurts. These large circular homes provide shelter from the elements and can easily be moved as needed. Before we begin our project to make our own little yurt, I'm going to tell you and show you what we need. So we have our styrofoam base, 10 craft sticks or those little popsicle sticks, craft glue, a burlap ribbon, brown felt, three pipe cleaners, they're kind of intertwined together, white felt, five straws, one little piece of fabric for the door. So this is a pretty small piece of fabric. You also need a felt tip sharpie, pair of scissors, and scotch tape. So let me get the templates and we will get started. So now we have, um, now that you know what you are going to need to prepare, we are going to take our five straws and we are going to cut four inches off of each straw thing. We are going to take our straws and they're like the little bendy straws. So you're going to take the straws and remove four inches from the bottom of each of them. So we are going to do that five times. Let's unwrap. Your scissors cut where the black is so just right there on the line all right so we have cut each straw and the next thing we need to do before we start anything else is to take the pipe cleaners we're going to fold them in half and we are going to cut them into two pieces are six pieces of pipe cleaner and five straws. That was fun. I got it cut yep. every time. So now that is prepped and ready to go when we need it. Now, Hannah, you are going to be cutting out the template for uh, the bottom of our yurt. So this is the template. Quite honestly, I, you could just draw a regular circle. That's what I did because it said it came with a template, but I didn't see it anywhere. So since I didn't see a template, I created my own, and you just want a circle for the base of the yurt. So I'll go ahead and cut that out. Okay. Hannah has completed cutting out the template, so here's our circle. And what you're going to do is take your template, put it on top of the styrofoam, and we are going to just draw little lines 
in in the styrofoam around the template and sounds kind of confusing but I will show you once we come back so now we are going to take our 10 popsicle sticks or craft sticks and we're going to be placing them wherever we have a black line, a black line. So now that we have that done, so we put Shiloh up in her seat, and I'm going to attempt to get this <laughs> taken care of. So once we have this, you're going to put a little bit of glue on each stick, and you're going to wrap each thing around with your... So as you can see, we have all of our popsicle sticks, and they are not all standing up straight. So what we're going to do is take our burlap ribbon, and we're going to glue it to each stick just to kind of give them a little bit of stability and make sure they're standing up straight. Okay, you ready? So we're gonna take our craft glue and put just a little bit of glue on each stick. Okay, Hannah, I need you to help me by holding this. It's Hold that straight. Okay. All right, so now we have our ribbon glued onto each popsicle stick, provide it some stability. Okay, now we're going to put glue on the rest of the sticks, and then we are going to wrap our brown felt around it to create the walls of the yurt. You ready? So we've got our brown felt wrapped around our yurt. If you have any extra, just cut it right off. So we're going to be using the pipe cleaners and creating our roof. So first, we're going to take our first pipe cleaner and put it in between the first and the second popsicle stick. So you're gonna poke it through. You're going to poke a hole in your ribbon and that's it. It's not gonna go through the felt, just the ribbon. And then you're gonna bring it up and pinch it so that you've got the loose ends sticking up. Okay. So you're gonna be doing it between the first and second, third and fourth, fifth and sixth, seventh and eighth, ninth and tenth. That's where you're gonna put the wire clean, uh, pipe cleaners through. Good afternoon and welcome back to Fun Friday. So last time we spoke, um, last time we started the video, uh, we weren't able to finish because Shiloh was just having a rough time and it was not, we were, I wasn't able, you couldn't hear anything. She was just crying over all of us talking. So where we ended off was with our, we're making our little miniature yurt. Right now we have our frame and we have the pipes for our roof. Right now what we are going to do is we're going to take our straws. Now we're going to create the roof frame using our wooden circle that we are given and our straws. So what you wanna do is get all the straws and stretch them out. So get the ones with the little stretchy part left. And there should be five total. Stretch them out. We are going to wrap the straw around the wooden, the wooden circle and we are going to use some tape to secure it. So. It does kind of look like a sun. So now we have our five 
straws taped to our wooden circle. Now we're going to take these and we are going to put our metal little um, pipe cleaners in them? Inside the straw. Yeah, this is going to keep them nice and stable. So now we have our frame for our roof. So I'm going to put this aside. We are going to take our um, second, so the first template that we had was the circle for the frame. And now this is our template that we have for our roof. done with our felt roof piece we're going to take our fabric glue and put glue on one side of the felt piece and then we're going to fold it over to make our roof and then we will put it on Ooh, cool. <laughs> like a little hat, don't they have? It looks like a little hat, yeah. Okay, hold that. You gonna help me put this on? Mm -hmm. Put it on. Like that. Alright. Wow. Okay. So now we have our roof on our yurt. And all we need to add is our little front piece, our little door flap. So our little piece of fabric that they gave us was not big enough. So we just added it to some felt <laughs> to kind of decorate it and make it look pretty. So Hannah is going, I'm going to put the glue on here and then you can go ahead and put, put, put it on there so we can hold it. All right. And then once it dries, we will have our finished yurt. There we go. And that is our little yurt, which is a movable tent. <laughs> so that is our finished yurt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this craft. If you guys do with your kids, leave us a comment below. Let us know how it goes. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you are new, we'd love to have you stick around and subscribe. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And make sure your notification bell is turned on for more fun Fridays. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.